In the first call, the team arrives on the scene after a man says he's been shot. They realize they were there a year earlier when the man's wife hung herself. At the time, the team realized that the man beat his wife, so they weren't surprised when he told them she had shot at him and hit the tree. Over the course of the year, the tree apparently rotted and the man needed to take it down. He decided to blow it up, so he straps explosives to hit at and fires one shot. As it falls, the bullet that was lodged in the tree shoots right out and hits him square in the chest. He doesn't make it. In their second call, an employee at Metro Fitness says her boss is burning up, literally. When the team arrives, they find a man burned to a crisp in a tanning bed. They try to perform CPR, as he's still alive, but he dies too. The employee mentions that it seems what goes around comes around after what happened to Mindy, the boss's dog. Apparently, a day earlier, the man attempted to leave his dog Mindy in his truck while he worked out. The employee broke his car window to save the dog, and he fired her. The next call involves a porch pirate a woman who steals packages off people's porches while they aren't home. During one incident, she trips as she makes her way down the steps. As Hen and Chimney assess her, Ethna shows up and says she knows she's the porch pirate. Ethna tells the woman she doesn't want to hear her lies, so eventually she admits she has an addiction to stealing packages. In the last call, a man with his family at the zoo decides to throw pine cones at a tiger to get better pictures. While he's in the bathroom, he hears a commotion and comes out to find people running out of the zoo and then hears the tiger behind him that got out of its cage. He calls 911 and then races around the zoo trying to hide from the tiger. Eventually though, the tiger wins and tears the man apart. As the team tends to the tiger's trainer, Hen hears the victim's name and realizes he's a dentist who made the news for killing a lion on a hunting trip. During a blood drive at the firehouse, Chimney asks Bobby to donate, as he's two pints short of his goal. After telling everyone he's basically afraid of needles, Bobby eventually gives in. A few days later, the hospital calls and says he needs to come in right away, as they found something in his blood. Freaking out, Bobby heads to see his priest. He explains that in the ledger he keeps are 148 names. They are the names of all of the victims he's lost. He explains that he has to save 148 people before he can die. The priest realizes Bobby is talking about suicide, but Bobby explains that he needs to balance the ledger before his time is up, and he fears if his blood results come back as cancer, he won't have a chance to do that. At the hospital, the doctor tells Bobby that he has a very rare blood type that can help pregnant women and babies with rhesus disease, which can be fatal. He's in disbelief, as the doctor explains that he can sign up for a program to donate regularly and help billions of babies. Later, at the firehouse, Chimney is doing research about Bobby's blood type and is very impressed. However, Bobby is in a bad mood. He then explains the whole 148 thing to him. He adds that even if he can help babies, they aren't his babies. He says that God's punishment isn't his eventual suicide, his punishment is having to stay alive to help other people. Chimney then takes Bobby to a hospital's NICU where he introduces him to a little baby girl getting a blood transfusion with his blood. The child's father wants to thank him in person, and Chimney tells Bobby that perhaps all these babies are his children, as they are a part of him. Bobby realizes that having this blood type is a blessing, not a curse. Throughout all of Karma's a bitch, Ethna struggles to keep it together for the sake of her family. However, when Michael suggests his boyfriend meet the kids, she flips out. Eventually, she talks to the kids who tell her that her staying with their father and trying to be a big happy family is hurting them. They say they'd rather have the truth than pretending to be something they're not. After a long shift, Ethna comes home and tells Michael she wants a divorce now before she keeps on hating him. Later, at a bar, a guy hits on Ethna, and it seems she likes her new freedom. And while Ethna's relationship ending is probably a good thing, Hen's relationship is in real trouble. Hen takes Ethna's advice and works up the courage to tell her wife, Carol, that she slept with her ex Ava. However, when she gets home late, Carol tells her that Ava is suing for custody of their son claiming Hen and Carol's home isn't suitable for a child. She claims the proof is because Hen slept with Ava. Carol is disgusted and leaves. At least for the night. Things aren't looking up for Hen. 
I really hope she can work things out with her wife. I like her character and I want good things for her. I'm glad Ethna worked up the nerve to ask for a divorce. She realizes that in the end, it will best for everyone, specifically the children. The calls were a little weird tonight, but I liked the karma theme. Do you think Carol will forgive Han? Are you surprised Bobby is finally opening up about his feelings? Did Ethna make the right choice in asking for a divorce? Let us know in the comments below.